A common thing that is asked is how to create a layered image of your own or one that you've, how do you convert one that you've downloaded uh, for design space so that it's able to cut in different colors. And the videos aren't always clear and hearing somebody tell you how to do it isn't always clear. So we're gonna do just a really quick demonstration. You're gonna get Inkscape, that's my go-to. You'll import an image, and this is an egg that I downloaded off of Google, just a regular egg image. You're going to bring that up to your workspace, and then you're going to go to Path and Trace Bitmap. Now when we convert something into an SVG, we don't really change a whole lot here except for the threshold but we want to create different layers with these colors so you're going to choose colors you're going to unchoose the smooth so you don't want smooth selected you want it to stack scans some people will tell you not to remove the background you want to remove the background it's what makes it a transparent image so there's no white box around it when you open it in design space so you'll remove background we're going to do a live preview um, I like to go down until I start losing colors. You'll see in my live preview. And as I go up, the colors go back. So I'll have the orange, green, blue, the white stripe, and the pink egg. So that's what I'll want it to be. You'll hit update, or you'll hit okay. And now you go down here. Nothing's changed, but it did. You'll click on this image and slide it. The one you just moved is your new image, and that's the one you want to keep. So we're just going to delete this. And we're going to bring this one back. And now is when we will need to separate those colors. So you're going to click on that and you are going to go up to Object and Ungroup. All right. Now you'll need to click on any part of the white screen to get rid of that trace. And now you're going to click on a portion and pull it aside. So there's pink, yellow, blue, and your outline. So what I am going to do is I'm going to delete some of these. Now if you've layered before, you know that having a base to put your outline on, oh, uh, a base to put your outline on to guide you as you layer the colors is always a good plan. So I'm going to keep this blue as my base. And I am going to delete all these other colors. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fill in those blank parts. You'll choose your paint bucket. And down here are little arrows, and you can click on those arrows, and different color options are going to come up. You can do the colors that the item originally was, or you can build your own, because as we know in Design Space, once you upload this, you can change the colors in Design Space as you want. So I'm going to fill in the pink. Now, what I'll need to do is go back to my arrows, and you're going to click on one, you're going to hold your shift key, and you're going to go down and you're going to click on each pink section. And this is going to allow you to group those pinks together so that when you upload it in Design Space and you slide the pink across, all those pieces will stay together. Now we're going to go to Object, or I mean Path and combine. And now those pink are one unit. And we can move it aside and you can see the squiggles are still there. And we can click on our paintbrush again. And we can choose some other colors to fill in those lines with. I'll choose a blue. And 
if you can't get in the spot because it's too small, you can either blow your image up or on your keyboard, you can just hit the plus and the plus will zoom you in. All right, now what I am going to do is I'm gonna choose my arrow feature again because I wanna stack everything back up so that when I save it and open it in design space, my pieces aren't all over the place. In these other lines here with some colors. We'll get some green. Ooh. Oh yeah, if you don't click on the screen before you choose a new color, it will change whatever the last item was that you touched. Um, Control Z will undo what you last did. There we go. So now what we're going to do is choose the arrow and we will stack everything up. All right. Now we will go up to file save as and SVG is when everything has been converted it shows this symbol here so you're going to want to make sure that you're using a term that you're going to remember so I'm just going to do egg demo 2 and I'm going to save it now I'm going to go into my design space and I'm very low and I'm going to upload an image I'm going to browse, and I have mine saved in here, and we had it saved as Egg Demo 2. Bring it save. Okay. Now I can slide down here. I can pick up the egg that I just made. And you can see over here all the layers that we have so that when we want to cut them, we can cut them in different colors and then layer them together. Uh, you can ungroup them just like you would an image that's already preloaded into Cricut. Um, and you can change the colors if you want by selecting the item and then changing it to, let's say, orange. Um, so that's an easy way to convert your own images. So I hope you enjoy and this helps you a little bit.